Hello everyone, and welcome back. Between episodes, I did a little bit of fighting. Um, and, uh, you know, just in the same spot, I haven't moved or anything. Just been fighting, everything's been going as usual. Um, I'm getting close to, uh, to some leveling, I think, and uh, also to filling up my cargo. So I decided this would be a good place to start the next episode. So, welcome back. Let's grab our last used group. So we're still just fighting the narwhals, trying to trying to kind of build up a little bit here. The day is ours. All right, so that was enough experience to level up Roland. So he gained a level. Awesome. So we're gonna grab some of this stuff. Our cargo is 53 of 64. Looks like we're getting three to four per fight. Um, all right, so we'll close this. Now we have a crew member that leveled up, so let's go look at Roland here. And see this, we have promote. So we can now promote him. So let's take a look. We could use a sailor to make our boat go a little bit faster. And we could also use a craftsman to, uh, to fix the boat. I think I'm going to promote him to a sailor. I'm liking Roland. Um, but that means I'm going to go ahead and put him at the wheel. All right. So he gains 2%. Um, oh, plus 4% sailing speed. Um, however, now that I look at that, he leveled up. So that means his hit points are low. Oh, look at when you hover over it, it tells you he gets a plus 10% field of view or plus 2% sailing speed. This guy gets no bonus. This guy gets no bonus. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and actually move him briefly down to the, the foxhole just to, just to heal him up a little bit. And I also have this quest uh, updated. But that's been there the whole time. All right, so let's go back out on the hunt. Roland, of course, uh, has the hit points that we were wanting him to get. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull him out. And let's let's throw Bernard in there, right? See what he can do. Now, we may be replacing them in, a, in any minute. Um, when we go back, we find somebody. We may replace Bernard. Maybe Bernard and Roland. Maybe Alan. I don't know. We'll see. I'm getting some prestige, though, for all these fights, and that's good. All right. So, this is the grind. You don't, you don't necessarily have to do this grind. Um, it's more me, just, I don't know, it just seems more efficient to pull into port with a full cargo to sell but uh you know I, I may be wasting some time here we'll see all right bernard gets his first attack ever nice job bernard yay bernard all right so roland is now healed so that means we want to put roland back onto navigation so he's going to give us a sailing speed increase. I um, mean, let's start to let's start working towards Nantucket. Uh, no, let's just let's just go to Nantucket. Oh, there we go. We got one more hunt in. All right, last use. Get some Bernard, some experience before we get rid of him, probably. I don't know. I don't know if uh, we will have new people to choose from or not. I hope so. Oh, look at that. See, I, I, I didn't look up here. Even though I got rolls to hit, I wasn't able to do it. But there was something. Random crew member is stunned. All right. So I missed. So I don't get to go this round either. Wow. All right. I see how you are, Narwhal. All right, no effect. 
Here we go. All right. Let's kill him with Alan. All right, so Alan's a little injured. So let's start sailing back, and we'll put... Uh, Oh, Alan's already there, so he's healing naturally. All right, we want to enter the harbor. All right, and then it automatically sells for you. So I had 34 blubber sold for $826, or cash, I guess they call it in this game. Um, so I got 776 of it, and 50 went to my crew. So you don't have to manually sell stuff off. It's awesome. Roland leveled, so his lay increased by 1%. That was expected. All right, so we can go to the newspaper, go to the jobs, and we can get our reward for this first one that we did. We haven't finished the second one yet. All right, so let's take a look really quick at, uh, didn't I have this? Oh yeah, it's still working. Being researched, wow, I wasn't out for more than a, Research ends March 31st. Oh, I was almost to the end of the research. That's funny. All right, let's go see if we have any any people that are interested. Look at that. We're up to 21 prestige. That's fabulous. All right, so we can start looking at some heavy guys here. So cannon skill, I don't know if how useful that's going to be, but could be pretty useful. Hmm. Plus navigation speed for that guy. Although I kind of feel bonded to Roland. <laughs> All right, let's look at Oscar. Rebalance dice. Chop wood option. I don't know what technical support dice does. Rebalance. Oh, 100 negative 100% grog consumption. That's cool. Saves me some grog. And he's generous, so I don't have to pay him as much. So he seems good, but I don't know about these skills. I just don't know that that's something I would want. I'm tempted to either grab one of these hunters or just nobody damage bleeding plus fasten nice all attacks against sea creatures make the target bleed that's that's good and blind hmm this could be good what's what's this one here lay goes to the captain if the character dies well captain likes that idea so this guy might be worth it. Now the question then becomes, do I replace Bernard or do I replace Alan? I mean, I could obviously replace Roland as well, but I kind of like Roland. All right, so let's do this. So I'll fire Bernard, which will cost me one prestige. So now I only have 20 to use. Okay. And then I think, oh, what are, what are these? Hold on a second. Hmm, that's actually pretty interesting. Ooh, I don't like the gluttonous. Plus two damage versus sea creatures would be nice. I, I kind of like this guy's special skills. All right, let's hire this guy. So, so we have two harpooners now. Alan's got a different skill set than this guy. If you look at their, you can see their um, icons here next to their name. They're all hunters, but they're different style of hunters. And I think that's what skills they're going to get. But so we hired a new guy. That's pretty exciting. All right, let's go in here. Now we have a lot of food, so we can actually sell off some of our food. Right there, let's get it around 100 days. 
All right, and we're up. We're up. We've made roughly a thousand cash in that one trip. That's pretty good. All right, so now we need to try to find what happened to this lost ship. But we're also about to do our research, so we don't want to get too far um, away from Nantucket because we want to be able to come back and turn that research in. So let's just go ahead, like right here, do a little whaling. Oh, I guess I got to go a little bit farther. Okay. Well, updating your log, one of your men knocks at your door. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Captain, but I must ask you something of import. My only sister wrote to me saying that she will marry soon and I would like to attend her wedding. Would you consider briefly visiting my hometown for the celebrations? Yeah, let's be nice. Oh, it's right down there. That's not too bad. How am I not in a whaling area? Is it inactive? Maybe it's inactive right now. Oh, it is inactive right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead then and uh, and head down to this guy's quest. This is pretty close. It shouldn't take too long. I'm about to get my research finished. The plot thickens. After waiting for your man to come back for hours, you head to the mainland to see what is going on. By following a villager's instructions, you reach your crew member's sister's house, a wooden cabin just outside the village. As you approach, you see your man lying on the ground, covered in blood, with his sister crying over him. His brother-in-law shot him by mistake, thinking he was a spiteful person. Oh no! I just lost one of my guys? Oh. And I nobody has the resurrection skill, so I just lost Alan. Bye, Alan. It's a good thing I just picked up another friggin' uh, hunter. Well, I guess we're heading back to Nantucket. Uh, get our pick up our research and all right, working shoulder by shoulder with one of your men, you come to appreciate his work ethic so much that you unintentionally start copying his attitude and way of thinking when dealing with some of the ship's errands. So if I do this, I have an eighty percent chance to get the diligent trait, and a twenty to get legend or lazy. Or I can do nothing. Let's try for diligent. Oh no, that's bullcrap. All right, a few people report that there are rats in the hold that could bring problems if you do not deal with them. We hunt whales. Hunting rats should be easier. You kill the rats, but Perry gets typhus. Oh, I get typhus. The ship loses food and typhus state. Oh, might as well kill him, right? Sweet, I killed him. All right, let's enter the harbor. Poor Alan's dead. <laughs> What's this lazy attribute do? Minus one random attribute? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, so I did get the upgrade of my harpoons. And there's a new issue of the newspaper, so that's good. So let's... Uh... Oh, look at that. My science got a negative one. So I got to figure out how to get rid of that lazy trait. That's too bad. All right. So I guess we start looking at uh, somebody else to pick up, huh? I have 10. I could do Herbert. Well, I could do one of these guys, even though... This guy, Dicart, is uh, going to be a healer. He's... <laughs> his laziness took it one point of science away, and he, like, he didn't have the resurrect. So maybe I should try to find a healer that has all that stuff. See, this guy's good because not only does he heal... Um, this he, he has the normal heal that, that Dicart has, um, but he also has a chance to heal everyone. That's what this does. But then this bandage means anyone else in his whaleboat are immune to the bleeding effect, which seems to be really helpful. So I'm tempted to pick up Alfred. Let's see, what's he got here? No, oh, yeah, he gains experience just for sailing. 
While retreating, he can't be targeted by enemy attacks. Okay, that's pretty good. I might want to consider grabbing Alfred. Hmm. I was thinking I wouldn't grab a science guy because I would be the science guy. I could grab another one of these guys, though. Heck, I could even grab another one of these guys. You know what? I don't have a crafting guy. Let's see. Balanced rationing. Less food used by the crew. And, oh, I can do a caboose ship upgrade with him. What's this? Oh, he's xenophobic. That's dumb. So it might be worth it just to be able to research caboose. What's this thing? Um, yeah, I think I might grab this so I can research caboose, and then I can just replace him at a later time. So let's let's grab him. All right, let me go here. And now, can we do caboose? That's stoves. Where's caboose? Which one was caboose? His stove. Oh, caboose. Okay. Yeah, since since I have that guy, I can research this. So right there, I've unlocked it. And I could even upgrade it, although I don't know that I need to right now. So I did get the harpoon upgrade. Unlock quarter deck compartment. Oh, sailing speed increase. Let's do that one. That's going to be helpful. But I was able to get Caboose just by having that guy in my group. It's up to level one already. So I could actually get rid of him right now if I want to do. All right, so let's uh, let's go with this and let's. Oh yeah, the newspaper's new. All right, new jobs. Oh, they want me to go to Peterhead. Well, that's good because the, um, this one is actually going towards Peterhead. So oh, and that gets me experience. So we're doing it. We're taking the job. Excellent. So far, so good. We lost Alan to a, a brother-in-law, a stupid brother-in-law that shot him in the face. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so we can just start heading up this trail. All right, you are well known for being a lazy captain, shouting orders, not doing much on the ship. You overhear your crew members complaining about your behavior. Try to improve it. 50% chance of losing the lazy trait, but 50% ooh, of losing morale and prestige, all right? I'll try to learn something. Ooh, 60% chance I get diligent, and a 40% chance I just lose a little bit, or I can just lose a little bit. All right, so it looks like this is probably the way to go. Yes, I got diligent, so hopefully that helps me. Yeah, go to it. All right. All right, so do I want to add another point to science. I think I do. We want to get him built up. All right, sweet. All right, what's this thing? Oh yeah, we're still working on that. All right, well that worked out for us, huh? So we're just following the Irene's path here and heading to uh, the other area. Ooh, here we go. You can clearly hear the broad siding sounds coming from not far away. Look in the horizon with your spyglass, you see a pirate ship battling the ship you were looking for. They have little chance of survival if you do not do something to help them. Oh boy. I can fight. Let us get closer and try to shoot the boarding pirates. If it works, I gain prestige and $100. Well, shoot, why wouldn't we do that? 
Oh. Well. Oops. So I didn't get the experience from battle. Okay, so I was thinking I was going to have to fight those pirates regardless. But it looks like by choosing the one I did, we didn't actually fight the pirates. But we also didn't save the ship. Wow. That storm really slowed us down. Order your men to unload the shipment. And let's enter the harbor. Alright, so new town. Okay. Remember, we've used Bert for what we wanted him for. So let's uh let's take a peek. Let's see if there's somebody else we want. Well, that's the same as Bert. Ooh, plus 10% experience gained. Hmm. Maybe I keep Bert. Or grab another harpooner. Especially since I, Alan died. Uh, nah, I don't think there's any of them that I particularly want. Yeah, all right. I don't need any any new people from here. Um, but here's another thing that's nice. This is a, a town where I can do research, so I can actually have research going on here and in Nantucket at the same time. And that's going to be extremely helpful. Tempted while I have Bart to raise this to the next level as well. Utilize it while I have him. Can't can't work on the same research. Yeah, let's let's up our harpoon damage. That seems like that's always a good choice. Spend three gold to repair our ship. Okay, let's grab whatever we need here. Oh wait, hold on. Before we do that, let's uh, take a look at jobs. New hunting area. The creature has attacked several ships in the last few weeks, becoming the most wanted prey. Oh, this is a level nine quest. I can't take it anyway. We can take this one. All right, let's get out of here. Excellent. All right, so where is this quest? Holy Moses, that's way down there. Might be a while before we do that. But we do have, uh, so I can return to Nantucket and turn in both of those quests. So that's that's where I'm headed. Whoops. All right, it's left click and drag to uh, move the map. So we're headed back to Nantucket, but let's head across. Let's head down this way first to get around that storm. Wow, that's a long trip. Plus we reveal just a little bit more map. Oh, whoa, 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 that's not what I wanted. No, stop, 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 stop. All right, it's not so long of a trip. <laughs> it's only long because I forgot I had accidentally clicked down below. Phew. <laughs> I'm glad I caught that. Oh, storm. Nice thing is, I'm gaining experience just by traveling. 
And so is Roland, by the way. He's got that trait now, too. So Roland's actually almost caught up to Dicart with experience. All right, so we're back to Nantucket. Uh, we need to turn our quests in, which is here. All right, good times. Good times. All right, anybody new here? Nah. Our little ragtag crew is good enough. All right, so let's sail out here. And both of these are out of season, so we can't go hunting whale right now. So maybe we go to Horda. Let's go check that place out. You guys got anything good? No, only level two here, level three here. Ooh, Mateus. Mateus has Master Boiler. He has Triworks, which is something we definitely want to research. Because the Triworks is going to allow us to uh, turn blubber into oil, and oil's going to sell for more. So I'm actually thinking I might want to hire him, but I can't because I don't have enough prestige. Because he's he would take ten, so firing Bart I would lose one, so I would have twenty-one, ten of twenty-one. Oh, maybe I can. Let's fire Bart. Oh, okay, never mind, I can. So we're going to grab him. Okay. We can go here. We can't research here, evidently. All right, does this guy got any jobs? In Batuba? I'm not, I'm not ready there yet to go there. All right, but I did pick up this, this guy, so let's, let's leave here. But now we've, we've been there once, so... We have a good idea of what's there. And I found uh, I found another guy. So what I want to do is find out. Let me, let me see here. I think my Nantucket research will probably finish first. Oh, that's cool. How can I find uh, my research? Hmm, I guess I can't right now. I think my Nantucket research... Oh yeah, ready in seven days. And Peterhead is ready in 74 days. So we want to head back towards Nantucket. Because we want to be able to research that... Uh, the new skill that our new guy just gave us. Because then we can replace him if we want. Or keep him, maybe he'll be good. So we're not making money. That's the thing that's frustrating me right now. Um, but that's to be expected because the, the only two whaling areas we know of are are out of season. We'll, we'll learn some more. But right now, we want to make sure we learn this Triworks. Triworks compartment um, available in these ships. All right. Yeah, so 54% ratio from blubber to oil that oh so we can actually upgrade this right now if we wanted to let's do it because that seems like it's going to be an amazing thing once i have a ship that can support it jobs so this requires 50 storage which i don't have and this requires level seven which i don't have and i wouldn't want to go to honolulu anyway right now 
too far. So let's uh let's start thinking about heading down. to finish this quest where this new whaling area was. All right, so that's way down there. But, yeah, let's give it a shot. So let's try to use the prevailing winds as much as we can. Because we're going to lose them at some point. And let's go to Cape Town since we haven't been there yet. It's going to be a long trip. If I'm lucky, somebody will level up. I don't think they will. I don't think I'm that close. So I'm moving quickly because I have the prevailing winds pushing me right now, but I'm going to slow down. Yep, there I go. Oh, I did level up. All right, let's go. Look at this. Skills. Oh, wait. Hang on. Working shoulder by shoulder with one of your men, you notice his inability to get used to life at sea. He cannot eat a thing without getting seasick. Oh, 50% chance I'll fix him and 50% chance I'll get seasick. Nope. Get used to life at sea. Alright, so now I can choose a, a skill point. So, I want to go here. I know I want the bandages and this res resuscitation. So I think I'm going to go here and assign this skill point first. Okay. So this is going to cost me two points. But now I'll I have a, this extra thing that will uh, heal seven hit points to the entire party. All right, now I wonder if I put this up, will this be more than seven hit points? Let's do it. Yep, it's up to eight. Excellent. So by increasing the science, it increased how how effective my science abilities were. Awesome. I got a level. Yay. So it can't be too long before Roland levels. Oh no, he's still a little bit behind me. So we're doing good though. We're over halfway there. Cruising right along. I wonder if they're ever going to add other game speeds. Right now it's either normal speed or times three. After days struggling with no wind to fill your sails, you welcome the dark clouds overtaking the sky. At the first lightning strike, you order your men to bend every sail. Oh, look at us go. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right. So we made it to a port. So we're here. We're safe. All right. Low level stuff everywhere. All right. So all they have here is is uh, these little guys, the uh, cabin boys. All right, and then you can't work on your ship. Anything here? Nope, just news. All right, so let's grab some uh, provisions here. And we're down to $300. That's not good. All right, let's go uh, check this place out. Is that research done? Yes. A shark encounter. Uh-oh. Sharks. We haven't messed with sharks yet. I don't like this.
let's use Perry and Roland. Oh boy. Random crew member gets state stunned. Of course. Okay, so I can choose the healing or I can choose combat. Of course I'm gonna choose combat. What's this one? Oh, I can blind them. Wow, it does 17 damage. Wow. All right, let's try it. Oh, I didn't win any roll. And now he's immersed, so I can't hit him. Oh, I'm just gonna sit here getting hit. Ouch. Oh, stunned that guy. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna switch to healing, I guess. Ooh, 17. Let's get rid of one of these. Oh, they're under water. So I can't hit them. Might as well just kill that guy off then. That's too bad. Ouch, Rollins are getting hurt. So is Dicart. It's not looking good for our heroes. Now I can kill some. Oh, yeah. Kill him off. Kill him quick. All right, so that should complete that quest. Oh, and Roland gained a level. Yes. I got some food off of him, I guess. So, but I need some healing, definitely. All right, so let's put uh, put Roland here. So Roland gained a level and see how he, oh, he's got skills. Oh, so now I get to choose which skills Roland's gonna start getting. Interesting, all right, let's look at these. Plus 10 crew morale, that's good. Oh, that's the captain's cabin upgrade. What's this one do? Black market, oh, look at that. Merchant and shipwright buy prices, that's good. So I think we're gonna have to assign this, this branch to him so we can get that captain's cabin out of him at some point. So what does he get? The black market skill right off the bat, nice. All right, so got a little bit hurt during combat, but not too bad. We survived. Um, I'm gonna start sailing back. In fact, let's let's go to Cape Town first. All right, because of the abundance of food, one of your men decides to be a picky eater. He rummages through the stores, choosing the most pristine vegetables and leanest cuts of meat. I can do the gourmet trait added. Or what's gourmet do? I wonder. That's probably bad, right? Like he only will eat the best foods. A merchant ship approaches yours. Her captain would like to trade with you. They recently docked at a city and their hold is full of goods they would like to sell you if you need them. No, we didn't need anything because I'm stopping right here. Okay, so we have come to the end of our time for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I'm really, really enjoying this game, and I'm just barely even scratching the surface of it. Um, it's pretty exciting for me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. Um, I will be sailing back and turning in my quests. Um, but uh, I hope you'll join me for the next episode. Please leave some comments. Let me know what you think about the game. Um, if you see something that I miss, things like that, I would appreciate any and all comments. And I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me for the next episode. Take care.